morning and you're very welcome. Today we come to the final look at the life of Peter. In Hebrews 11 it says, Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Today we see a confident Peter ministering in a remarkable way. The speak first, think later, eager to please man is gone, as is the disciple who is all talk and no action. Here we see him calm, confident and bold. Our reading is taken from Acts 3 verses 1 to 10. It says there, one day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer at three in the afternoon. Now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him, as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, silver and gold I don't have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Taking the man by the hand, he helped him up and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognised him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple kit called Beautiful, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. What a difference we see in Peter here. He has come to Jesus, he has learned about him, followed him, heard his claims about suffering in Jerusalem, which he witnessed culminating in the crucifixion. He has also been an eyewitness of the resurrected Jesus, just as Jesus told him he would, and he has received the Holy Spirit. Now Peter is calm, controlled and exuding an authority. He has peace. But let's be clear about this. This isn't confidence in himself. He's not peddling a new movement that is based around himself. He's not seeing himself as a successor to Jesus. This new nature, he acknowledges, comes from Jesus. He and John can't give the crippled man anything. But in Jesus' name, they can give him the very thing that deep down he really wants, and that is the ability to walk. It's remarkable faith on Peter's part. What if the man refused to walk and, and insisted instead of receiving money? What if he just point blank refused to stand up saying, I can't walk, I never have been able to walk? What if Peter said what he said and nothing happened? What if, what if, what if? There are often two minds that come to mind straight away when we think or move towards an act of faith. But Peter doesn't think, what if? Instead, he thinks only of Jesus. His mind is fixed upon him. He is the basis of their confidence. He is the focus of their message. He is the source of this healing. He is the name to be proclaimed. Peter has faith in Jesus. He trusts his life to him. He, he acts based on that trust. At the Last Supper, Jesus said, Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. This is what's happening here with Peter. He is now a man of faith. He believes in Jesus and so he not only does what Jesus does, he's beginning to move towards doing even greater things. He no longer asks, what if? He's let go of his fears, anxieties and doubts. He's resting totally in Jesus, 
no longer sinking, but walking. This is the Christian life, knowing who Jesus is, resting completely in that, and living a life that is shaped by that trust. And Peter, who wasn't sure, who had made many gaffes, who had denied even having anything to do with Jesus, became an example of faith upon which the church is built. And he did do great things. And he did see the church grow in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria and moving out towards the ends of the earth. And the promise is, so can you and I. When we trust Jesus and our confidence is in him. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you are the focus of our faith our trust in the good news about you and your resurrection. Thank you that you came and did what you did, overcoming death and releasing your spirit. We too, like Peter, struggle in our journey of faith. Help us to have the same persistence he did and to find the confident faith that comes when we follow him. And may we do as he did even greater. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for being with me through the month of February. On Monday morning, Seth will be joining you for the following week, and then I'll be back the week after that, and we'll keep going as, as lockdown keeps continuing. But God's blessing be with you today.